YouTube, it's me, Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Pan update. And this is going to be the final update for this round. I only have four products left, and I finished one. So I don't think it'll be terribly exciting to see another week with just three products. And one of the three is almost done, so I'm just calling it, and my new Project Pan, the video will be up tomorrow. So you will see all the new products I picked out which I think will be more fun. Anyways, the product that I finished was the Marcel clay mask that I received in my birch box. It is empty, nothing else comes out. Uh, I did actually enjoy this mask a lot. It makes me want to investigate more from this brand because I'd never heard of it until I got it from the birch box. I replaced my Ulta mask with this because I hated that thing and I finally gave up and threw it away because I was never using it. And I wound up using this in less than a month. So that shows how much now, the product that I thought would be finished by now, and it is almost finished, is my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I depotted it last month because I cut open the tube because I was having a hard time getting any out and I found a ton left. So I'm glad I did depot it, but I thought this would be done and it's not. And I'm actually starting to get, even though I love this foundation, I'm starting to get kind of sick of it because I want to move on to other foundations. Now, my two products that I did not finish, they are nowhere near finished is my Lord & Berry Silk Kajal Coal Liner. And this is all that's left of it. It is got, it is gotten really small. It has gotten really small, but it is a drier eyeliner, so it takes a while before it needs to sharpen again. Basically, instead of waiting until it is completely dull, I sharpen it when it's gotten really dirty from eye, eyeshadows getting on it. And that has made me go through it a little bit faster, but this is still, there's at least another month or so left in this. So I do have a eye, another black eyeliner in my next project pan, but I think that one will go quicker. And when that one is done, I will try to finish this. And of course my Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal white. You know, it has gotten short. It has gotten a lot shorter since I started but it is not done. It will not be done anytime soon. Lately, I've been using it for my inner corner and brow bone so that I can use it every day rather than every other day, every couple of days for an actual eyeshadow base. And I don't know why I didn't think of that before because I know Amber F does that with her NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, which is basically the same thing. So maybe that'll help it go a little more, maybe not faster, but more, not overall, but I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of is more steady. That's I think what I'm trying to think of. So it, I'm trying to finish it by the end of this year, technically. So hopefully it will do that. And for more exciting stuff, I have an update on my pen that palette, which will be going towards updates in my new project pan as well. And I hit pan on three more shadows, guys. So I finished cream today, yay. I hit pan on champagne and light bronze. And I'm finally starting to develop a dip in uh, mauve, which is nice. And I hit a teeny tiny bit of pan in black, as you can see. And I'm a little bit afraid of it popping out like it has done on other people once they hit pan. So I'm gonna watch it. But that does have me with two eyeshadows done and pan on one, two, three, four, five, pan on seven. And the only one that I'm using with any regular basis that doesn't have pan yet are mauve and espresso and deep purple I do use as liners on occasion. And both of them do have dips going on as well. So that's it. And that's why I wanted to start a new Project Pan because these updates are getting super short. So thank you guys for tuning in and I will hopefully see you later. Bye.